Well, now let's put the spotlight back on Z. There's been so much of news flow around the company, around the counter in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours from uh, one of the agencies, one of the wire agencies reporting that the deal is off to Z coming out and denying it. Uh, and then more reports emerging last evening suggesting that Z has missed a payment, a $200 million payment to uh, Disney for cricket rights. So what really is the, the way forward and what should shareholders now be mindful of? as we go through all of this news flow. Janesh uh, Joshi, research analyst at Prabhuda Siladhar is with us for some thoughts. There. Janesh, hi, thank you for joining in. Season's greetings to you. So, <clears throat> you know, the thing is, throughout all of this back and forth, I was just looking at the Z chart and we'll pull up the one year as well. Through all this back and forth, you know, when uh, markets feel the deal is happening, the Z stock rallies to 300. And when there is this fear that, oh, the deal might get called off, it falls to about 250. That's been the trading range on the Z stock. But now as we look at things, since uh, you know, we are very close to the extension of the, the you know, merger discussion deadline as well, uh, what is it that, that you know, what are the probabilities, the scenarios that, that you are working with, given uh, the news report that uh, you know, suggested that the deal could actually be off? Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, see, I mean, uh, there are two school of uh, thoughts uh, currently uh, which are being uh, uh, discussed. I mean, uh, let me answer it this way. Uh, if we believe that the merger does not go through, what do both the parties gain? I mean, if I talk about Z, uh, perhaps the stock can correct, say, by another 30-40%. I, I don't know, maybe even higher than that. Uh, and even if I talk about uh, uh, Sony, in that case, I mean, if, if we believe that uh, Disney and Viacom indeed come together, then the competitive positioning of Sony also gets weakened. So even they do not stand to gain if the merger does not go through. So honestly speaking, it is in the interest of both the parties to kind of uh, come together and and uh, bring out an amicable solution. So I think I think uh, the the rational thinking is that uh, both of them will perhaps uh, uh, look out for an amicable solution. And also also one needs to understand that the disagreement uh, is over the CEO candidature. And this is something which both the parties can resolve. Had it been a, a, a issue with respect to dealing with any regulatory body, for example, uh, say you are yet to get the NCLT approval or for instance, you are yet to get the CCI approval, you may still be in a blind spot and there is there is an element of uncertainty when you deal with law, right? But over here, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, it is in their hands. I mean, there is some push and pull which is happening currently, uh, but we are hopeful that uh, some uh, desirable solution will come through. You know, exactly on that point, because this all boils down to whether or not Mr. Puneet Goenka is going to be heading this merged entity or not. You know, uh, if, if at all, could, it, could there be a scenario that the deal is called off uh, but called off only to restructure the, the agreement because the original agreement said that Mr. Puneet Goenka will be at the helm of this entity for the next five years. So, I mean, I'm just saying, if there's a news flash suddenly, should shareholders uh, sort of wait on it because maybe the deal is called off to come up with a new contract? Uh I don't think that can happen. I mean, honestly speaking, I'm not a law expert, but I mean, uh, this perhaps may require some tweaking of the agreement because uh, one of the requirement of the deal was that Mr. Puneet Goenka will be the MD and CEO for a period of uh, five years. It was not one of the most critical components, if I have understood it correctly. So I think I think uh, they can work out uh, uh, some some uh, middle ground and then take it from there on. So I, I I doubt I doubt it will fall apart just because of uh, uh, one issue with respect to uh, the candidature uh, of the of the of the merged company. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Janesh. Uh, good to see you in. But what's the probability you are assigning to that this uh, deal goes through? You know, because otherwise it's providing a lot of trading opportunities. But what would your advice be? Because in the next month or so, we'll have clarity on which way this is going to swing. Exactly. So as I pointed out, Nigel, er, uh, earlier that it is in the interest of uh, both the parties to come together. I mean, if, uh, so, if say, for instance, uh, the deal falls apart, there is nothing to gain either for Z or Sony. I mean, the stock price will correct even more from the current levels. The minority are at a disadvantage. Even Sony, for that matter, I mean, although it's not a listed company, but if Disney and Viacom come together, I mean, their, their standing will weaken, their competitive position will weaken. So even from their standpoint, it is in their interest to come together. So to answer your question, I would assign a very high probability that this will go through. But but Lovely. let me add a disclaimer, I, I reserve the right to go wrong. 
<laughs> now that's a good disclaimer to put out there because this is a completely binary event and you know you basically second guessing what's happening in that boardroom and that's a pretty tough position that that we've put you in but we also have manglam who's joined us uh, in the studios now manglam uh, z never a dull moment any more any further questions never a dull moment uh, my you know the only thing is that there is so much speculation still in the air there is a lot of communication from z sony saying that okay we'll wait until the 20th of january to perhaps make a comment that we have to either way it goes the best question then to do is if it's a ball outside the off stump you do a well left and then ask jinesh jinesh um, is there any other investable idea in the media space then because you're talking about the mega consolidation that may happen then you know we've seen a revival from ndtv uh, you've seen a lot of these newspaper stocks do well as well are there any other investable ideas pvr inox etc so let's move z aside for now Ah, so yes, I mean uh, PVR Inox. Uh, we were positive on the counter for quite some time, but if I talk about uh, their uh, recent performance, I mean which they are expected to report in 3Q, the overall box office collections on sequential basis are down by about 20 percent or so. We have downgraded the stock to uh, accumulate. Uh, at least for the next quarter i think uh, the overall movie pipeline is even uh, not not that exciting so to say so we might see some uh, tough time for uh, pvr but overall media space i mean i cover these two names and honestly speaking z is a double edged sword <laughs> as i just mentioned and pvr again uh, we feel that this quarter may be uh, slightly weak and even the next one does not have uh, much of a hope so uh, we would like to kind of uh, not go all in in either of the names at these levels Hey, all right. Godaj Janesh, thank you very much for joining in. You have a good day. Appreciate your uh, time with us here.